YouTube with a YouTube daily output. I am your host, Dre Day, and today we've got an article coming from the Western Journal. Uh, the situation actually happened, I want to say, maybe a year or two ago, where a bodega clerk was arrested in New York for defending himself in a robbery. I want to say there are two... A guy and a girl, the girl was trying to purchase something and she didn't have enough money and I guess she really wanted those items. She tried taking them from the clerk and that's when the guy, the girl's boyfriend came in and uh, started to escalate the situation and actually went behind the counter to attack the clerk and... I want to say the clerk stabbed the guy to death, and he was arrested, but um, eventually the, jar the uh, charges were dropped, and it happened in New York, but uh, let's get into the article. Bodega clerk who was jailed for defending his life sues woke DA Alvin Bragg for racial discrimination. Former bodega clerk Joe's Jose Alba who was arrested after stabbing a man to death in self-defense in New York City is fighting back. Alba who spent six days in Rikers Island before a groundswell of complaints and definitive evidence made the charge against him untenable as suing Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg and the New York City Police Department for Racial discrimination, according to the New York Post, the civil rights the civil rights suit filed in federal court in Manhattan said Alba was collateral damage in the policies pursued by Bragg. While in theory Bragg's racial equity policies are well intentioned, attempt to oops can't read today. While in theory Bragg's racial equity policies are a well intentioned intentioned attempt by him to implement even-handed justice, the means and methods employed by Bragg have instead had an opposite effect and resulted in discrimination against certain defendants based on race, said the lawsuit, which seeks unspecified damages and a jury trial. On July 1st, Alba had a dispute with a woman named Tina Lee, because she could not pay for a bag of chips, she fetched her boyfriend, Austin Simon, Simon, who assaulted Alba, as a video, as shown on video. Let's check it out. Move my head out the way. I got any sound? Let's see. Former New York City bodega worker Jose Alba is suing District Attorney Alvin Bragg and the NYPD for racial discrimination after his controversial prosecution for acting in self-defense. The attorney representing Jose Alba, Richard Cardinal, joins us now. Thank you, Richard, for being here. Thank you for having me. And so we were just discussing kind of the basis of this lawsuit. Please break it down for us. Okay, it's got, it's got, um, various parts the you know the primary claim is against the city and also the police officer the detective yes that made the arrest they did no investigation and you know the first step in a criminal process when charges are brought is they draft a criminal court complaint mm -hmm. and um you know we have that and it's the detective who's being sued who was describing in the criminal court complaint what he saw in the video. And it's completely uh, mischaracterized. So the, the, detective's, uh, the detective's description or representation of what happened in the video, in your opinion, is very contradictory to what actually happened in the video. So what you're saying is the original arrest itself was predicated on essentially false evidence? Um, you, know, you know, basically, it seems like because of the, the, ra the racial equity uh, um, policy by Bragg is that they want to have an equality of outcome, and that's impossible to achieve. Everybody yeah. should be 
be treated equally. You know, in the so lawsuit, in this case, it's the race of of the perpetrator, not the not the race of your defendant. It, it's probably it's both because we point out other instances in the lawsuit, such as what happened on the subway when um, the former Marine, yeah. um, you know, had had a uh, physical altercation yes. with somebody who was terrorizing somebody, as well as somebody else. They're they're treated completely different. Lee. And if you look at D.A. Bragg's own written policies on day one, they weren't afforded any of those protections. But going back to my client, Jose Alba, um, he meets with the D.A.'s office after he makes the arrest to draft the criminal complaint. Mm -hmm. And you read this, and it makes it seem like the person that attacked Jose was a victim and Jose was aggressive. Mm -hmm. But then when D.A. Bragg got all the pressure from the mayor. When we all got to see the video and understand right. what happened. Yeah, he said we're still... Changed his mind pretty quickly. Right, he said we're still investigating, we're looking into it. And, you know, they should investigate before they make the arrest and th instead of just so having them... With this right lawsuit, there. what is your goal? Is your goal to seek, uh, you know, monetary reward uh, back to your client or is your goal to change the policy or both? Well, um... You know, we would like the policy to change. Mm -hmm. My client is looking for justice, but in a civil lawsuit in federal court, all you really can get is monetary damages, yeah. compensatory and uh, punitive damages. But when D.A. Bragg did his investigation after the pressure, he filed a motion to dismiss, uh, basically laying out what was in the videos that they did in their investigation. And yeah. it's a completely different characterization well, and i think the conversation here is just because ultimately justice was found doesn't mean it was done justly and that's where your lawsuit comes into play right well it, and uh you know yeah. false evidence was basically or, right. or the evidence was mischaracterized listen we're going to follow this this is very interesting because this can affect a lot of people's lives we see too many stories like this especially with the da here in manhattan thank you for joining us and sure. good luck in your case That was <clears throat> Mr. Alba's attorney. And continuing on with the article, on the struggle which Simon initiated, Alba stabbed him to death when police arrived. They were told by Lee what she said took place, arrested Alba and locked him away. Bragg had Alba charged with second degree murder and demanded 500,000 bail. Which a judge lowered to 2,500 or 25,000, 250,000. 18 days after the indictment, Bragg dropped charges. Rich Card Cardinal, Cardinal, a lawyer for Alba, said Alba tried to negotiate a settlement with the city but was unable to. Alba is seeking compensatory and punitive damages, which will be determined by a judge. Cardinal said. No price tag was named in the court papers. Bragg is treating people differently and he's hurting people, Cardinal said. Meanwhile, other people are committing repeated crimes and he keeps giving them a break. We can't keep pitting ourselves against each other on based on race. And that's basically it, but um, I live in a red state and I hear a lot of talk about woke policies and things of that nature. If you live in a blue territory, could you please um, inform me, is this true? Do you think woke policies are geared to help lower the uh, standards when it comes to criminals and is more affecting the people that are actually trying to defend themselves. I mean, I see articles about it, but I'm not in the state, so I can't really say for sure, but based off this, mm, doesn't look like it's equal justice, and what the, what is it? The diversity, equity, inclusion policies that people are speaking about nowadays, doesn't seem like this would fall into that category of being treated equally. But uh, yeah, let me know what y'all think.
like, comment, subscribe, share. Daily output, I'm Dre Y'all have a good one. Sorry about the slurs, man. I had a... I've been doing some Muay Thai to learn how to fight. So I'll stop getting beat up. So, uh, and I lost a tooth. Got elbowed out, but, um... Sorry about the slurs. But anyway, Dre Day, daily output, y'all have a good one.